This is the BBC, and tonight we bring you a world first, planet Earth, as you've never seen it before. This is the human world. Oh my god, get it out of me! Fucking get it out! The moment has arrived for this young female, where her life will change forever. She is about to give birth to her first offspring. She will do it alone, raising the child until it too is capable of suckling off social security benefits like its mother when it turns 14 years of age. This is the life of the chav. Chavs are social creatures and will rarely be seen alone, preferring the company and security of the Cress, not to be confused with their cousins, the Hoodies, who work in groups for the sole purpose of hunting. A Chav's strength is built on numbers rather than individual power. Alone, they are meek, scrawny, unintelligent creatures. They will wander streets quietly and without causing ruckus to other humans, doing their best to blend in despite their appearance. The females adorn from head to toe in a variety of pinks, whites, and baby blues. The male's coat comprising of a colorful display of Burberry, which is also used in a time of courting. Generally, chavs travel in large groups. Usually, the males and females will travel separately, but they will happily meet up in grasslands outside football stadiums, Argos, or in watering holes. Chavs are nocturnal creatures but will on occasions rise in the late afternoon to frequent sporting matches, take their pit bulls down to the park for a dump, or perhaps pick up some fresh bling from Elizabeth Duke. During the day, they can be docile creatures, and if caution is used, you may even be able to approach a chav without startling them. They tend not to indulge in large meals, but favor a life of grazing. Can I have a packet of pork scratchings and some Rizzlers? Waiting for death. And by the looks of it, I'd say it's overdue. The Who, unsure of own identity. Chelsea woman seeks man for cosy nights in. Speed limit in schools lowered to 14 grams. And the word moist offends my ex-girlfriend. This is Psych News, where the truth of the matter is no longer the cause. With your host, Baron Clef Pallet. It's official. Marijuana is to become legal. In a bold move by the British government, the drug is to be made readily available over the counter at all corner shops, pre-blended with Cutter's Choice, Golden Virginia, and that other shit brand in the white packet. As a result, Jamaican people are furious at the immediate loss of 90% of the country's exports and are now threatening to take back their Rastafarian hats, Aki and Bob Marley. The British government acted swiftly to this news by requesting them to take back Ziggy Marley as well. In a bold move, George W. Bush has made an all-out personal attack on God. Lately, he's been getting on my nerves, and I'm none too pleased with his attitude, Bush explained. Bush said that he was growing impatient of God's lack of willingness to sort out this big old mess that things have become ever since 9-11. He's now threatening to withdraw US support of God in favour of Vishnu. Right now, we need all the arms we can get, and quite frankly, this Vishnu guy seems to be our best bet. Bush commented before being tucked into his boy racer bed with his Thomas the Tank Engine jammy jams. The 24-year forecast for Manchester, mostly raining with brief showers of hail and occasional snow followed by heavy spitting. The rest of the time will comprise of that misty shit you get there. Highs of 7, lows of minus 7. I don't know why you haven't all started killing each other yet. Psych News for the discerning homicidal maniac. Waiting for death. It's your last chance to masturbate. There is one purpose above all that drives the chav. Mating. Fuck me. Oh, fuck me. The courting of the chav has never been captured on film before. 
It is a long and complex affair that has rarely been studied. But here for the first time, we revel in its glory. You're right, my lover. Here, you fucking Those with the most you. bling will attract a female, but competition is stiff and results in numerous battles of supremacy as chavs fight for the right to impregnate the female. She will actively watch on, calling to both suitors during the tussle. Quick, now, come on, punch him in the face! Why don't you just pick up that bottle and fucking... Finally, the dominant male is victorious, ending the battle with a swift knees-up smack to the chin of his opponent, rendering him unconscious and possibly brain-damaged. And now, the courting can begin. Here, you think this is fat? Suck my cock. Whilst chavs are not known for being intelligent creatures, on rare occasions, you will spot glimmers of thought. In this situation, we see the male now wrapping his genitalia in an empty chip packet to prevent the female from falling pregnant. The subtle mating routine culminates now in an urgent flurry of activity. Get it in, get it up. Oh. Nice. Once that's successfully mated, the male and female will mark their territory. <laughs> then they will head their separate ways, seeking shelter before the rise of the morning sun. Although predominantly nocturnal, chavs are by no means exclusive to night movement. None more so than in summer, when they will partake in a ritual that has gone on for more than a decade. Every summer, the Spanish coastline is inundated with migrating chavs who congregate on these shores to bask in the midsummer sunshine and turn their lily-white complexions lobster to red. Then, as the sun goes down, they drink to excess, vomit, occasionally copulate for very short periods of time, and pass out until mid-afternoon the following day. It is a place of plenty, and the chav will eat, drink, and fornicate to excess. This is where the female chav is most likely to be on heat, and she will find herself numerous partners over the course of her time here. Usually one a night, sometimes two or three. Come on, who wants a chat? Come on, I'm up for it. Get my fanny out for you. Hey, er, who, you? I had you last night. You were rubbish. <laughs> if it wasn't for the warmth of the Spanish coastline and this annual event, there would undoubtedly be very few chavs in the world today. Thanks to low-cost airlines and the strength of the English pound, the chav has flourished. And if you would like a copy of The Human World, featuring all six episodes in the series, then you can download them illegally from the net at LimeWire, Kazaa, or Emil. Sweet, sweet pod. It's story time with Jean-Paul. It was a long time ago when a lonely carpenter named Geppetto decided he should make use of his skills with the wood. Time to stop choking the chicken, he thought, and pulled out his toolbox. It was big and shiny, not like the purple-headed bed slug, but like a toolbox, you dumb fuck. He worked many tireless hours to create a little boy. This was no ordinary boy. He had a varnished trouser snake made from the finest MDF. The trouble for Pinocchio is he couldn't get enough sweet, sweet pussy. I want to shit on your face while you tell me lies, said the girls. Come on, you wooden bastard. Stick your bayonet deep in her back door. She was not the local milking maid for nothing. She was very good at her job. He nailed this fucking prosty all day and all night, until she had lips like the shadowbags of John Wayne. Good night, boys and girls. Till next time. You have been waiting for death. To find out more, visit us online, waitingfordeath.net. Copyright Wonkana Productions, 2006.